Hi everyone, X Plus here. This is the M1 MacBook Air. This laptop has been with me since early 2021. Being my main computer for almost two years, I was able to extensively test it out before giving any conclusions on this laptop. So, I'm going to share with you the good and some issues I've faced it as a student. Should you get one today? Keep watching to find out. The design. The recycled design from the previous generations make it feel a little old compared to the new notched design, but fret not, it still feels no less premium than before. I love the wedged design, the smooth aluminum chassis. One finger lift passes the test easily. The display. It is a sufficiently bright, sharp display with accurate colors. Definitely not as deep blacks as the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pro, but still great for daily use for students. It gets plenty bright even outdoors, making work feasible almost everywhere. As for the speakers, they are great. I have no issues with them. Good for watching lectures, YouTube videos, and playing music. Have a listen to them. I am recording with the MacBook Air right now with ambient noise. Let me know what do you think of the microphone in the comments below. The keyboard is excellent. I have no issues with the keyboard. Typing is satisfactory. This was besides the fact that I must occasionally remove some dirt from the bottom of some keycaps. In terms of the shallowness of the keyboard, it isn't as shallow as the butterfly ones I've used before. It feels comfortable and modern to me. The fingerprint scanner is quick and reliable too. The backlit keyboard, however, cannot be adjusted manually using the keyboard keys. Instead, you will have to go to the settings to adjust it manually. As for the trackpad, it is undeniable that Apple makes one of the best trackpads available. Trackpad uses no buttons. Instead, it uses haptic engines at the bottom of the trackpad to detect pressure, recognizing a click or a force touch. Swiping is smooth on the trackpad as it has a matte glass surface. Occasionally, restarting the laptop is required to restore force touch functionality, which could get annoying if you use it often. The performance on this laptop is smooth for daily tasks. It can also handle simple video editing without hiccups. However, if there are too many effects or animations added, it can slow down. The two-year transition is almost complete and all apps I'm using are running great. Students will be happy with this configuration I have. M1, 8-core CPU, 8-core GPU and 512GB SSD. Given that only the 7-core version is available on the Apple Store right now, getting that option is not a bad choice too. Now, all about the bad stuff that I've experienced with this MacBook. Firstly, the ports. Okay, so I'm not the usual reviewer who rants about the lack of diverse ports or I.O. Two USB-C Thunderbolt ports coupled with a headphone jack is fine with me. I can carry a dongle with me for my accessories. But the ports wear off very easily. Being gentle with it is crucial. Charging and connecting accessories is now difficult for me. I can't plug my port directly into the Mac to charge, as it won't charge. Many trial and errors are required for me to find the sweet spot where I could connect my peripherals like my iPhone perfectly. I think this is partially because of the port's location. Being located only on the left side of the device forces me to pull my wire to the left side to charge. Perhaps this is how my ports died. Now, for wear and tear, other than a partially broken USB-C port, the chassis is a little scuffed, the headphone jack looks compressed, the sides are a little dented. If you are less careful with laptops, do consider the silver colour or buy a protective case. Also, you can notice that the anti-fingerprint coating wears off over time. The keyboard also gets greasy looking under certain angles of light. The display itself. 
It is a display which attracts too many fingerprints. One touch, big mess. Cleaning the display becomes a necessity with a microfiber cloth. Just don't buy Apple's one. I've realized that this has made me so conscious about not touching the display that I would only touch the metal part of the chassis to open the laptop completely. The display is also very reflective as you can see from the previous clips. Hold on, hold on. Let me wipe the display before I continue. As for the speaker grills, the dirt gets trapped in the speaker holes such that I couldn't get them out no matter how hard I tried. But it doesn't affect the speaker quality. As for the webcam, hmm, this is the controversial part. As in, the webcam is okay, it is not great, but it does its job. If you are not satisfied with it, with macOS Ventura, you can now use your iPhone as a webcam. And finally, the arguable part, macOS. If you have been using Windows like forever, you could give macOS a shot. macOS is really a hit or miss for many. Some will hate it as it's very unintuitive for them to use macOS, while others pick it up very quickly. If you own other Apple products, the Mac will help you in many small ways. For instance, Handoff allows one to copy and paste text from the same iCloud account. And the previously mentioned using iPhone as webcam. Another factor to consider is the availability of apps you need to use. For students, some courses require Windows and hence require you to install Windows virtual machines to use the programs required. So, should you get the M1 MacBook Air? Yes, being the cheapest MacBook you can buy today, this laptop is still a bargain. And if you are a student, you can get it at a discount too. Just get verified with Unidays with your account and you're done. And for those of you who need greater graphics power, get the M1 Pro 14 or 16 inch MacBook Pro. Unless you require the additional graphics cost for extensive 3D rendering and video editing, this laptop is still great. That's it. If you are not as gentle to handling laptops, then you should consider getting the M2 MacBook Air. The MagSafe magnetic port will definitely help in reducing wear and tear of the all-important USB-C port. This is all I have for today. Thanks for watching this review. Please support me by pressing the like, subscribe, bell icons for more content like this. Your subscription will help me greatly. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!